Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show Right, so uh, let's uh, see what Capricorn are to experience uh, throughout the upcoming week. And the first thing that we're going to have a look at is uh, Capricorn relationship and love life throughout the week. Um, so let me shuffle. And uh, let's have a look. Right, so the first card for Capricorn is going to be the world, uh, followed by uh, the uh, Empress card. Moving next, we do have the Tower, and the last one here is going to be the Eight of Cups. Oh my. Oh. Well, guys, um, that probably is going to burst your bubble, uh, but... Uh, on the positive and let's start with the good news first okay so here it seems that whatever troubles and whatever difficulties you are experiencing in terms of your uh, relationship say you are fighting with your wife or will you're fighting with your husband or you pretty much cannot get on the same page well that is pretty much going to happen throughout the week and it's going to happen because you are going to back off okay for one or another reason either because you're going to find out that you are not right with your statements or it's because you are going to identify that you are way too harsh or in the best case scenario because you're gonna say to yourself I mean what the heck you know why don't why don't I try their way around I may like it uh, at the end of the week although the situation may not turn out to be the way you want it to be at the start of the week okay it still is going to be beneficial for you and much brighter perspective for your relationship and for your marriage awaits you so that being said, don't be, I don't know what parable is that in English. In our country, we say stone-headed. It is like, you know, you you just keep up with your things and you don't want to budge even an inch back. Now, that should not be the case with you. Uh, it, will be a rough, uh, it will be a rough decision from your behalf, all right? I mean, even you may find yourself hating yourself for that you are uh, stepping off, you know, your original standpoint. But nonetheless, the more you go forward, the more you are going to understand that it's either going to be this this way or it's going to be the way of nothingness, meaning that you may lose your marriage, you may lose your relationship, you may lose positions, okay? And uh, because the tower is within the third position of the spread, uh, your change of structure, if I may say it that way, that things are not necessarily going your way, but they are going the way of your partner, is going to bring healing and nurturing effect over your love life. Um, those that are single, um, they may expect to crash upon somebody, okay, a very sudden, uh, very sudden interest that they are going to have, very sudden um, a falling in love, if you will, something like that. And um, 
uh, that, that will place them in rather a very uncomfortable situation or very uncomfortable position. Uh, and uh, is it going to, things are going to develop or not? It does depend mainly upon how, um, how confident you are within yourself uh, to approach the individual that you have a strong interest in or strong impression in or something like that, okay? Or more or less that kind of a narrative. Because at the end, um, it doesn't look like that. Well, the thing is that, that that is the thing, guys, that this person that you may have interest in, in throughout this week, they're not going to have the same amount of interest in you. They're still going to have some, but not as strong as you do having them. And it will be a struggle where you will have to pretty much ignite or rather like a lift their interest in you. If you do want to keep up with this thing now, if you don't want to keep up with this thing, just so you know, you're gonna heal from it very, very quickly. And uh, in, in fact, it will be like a very valuable lesson, a lesson for you that not everything you feel attraction to worth exploring. But just so you know, uh, this, this week Capricorn, if you are single, definitely gonna give you some emotional and passionate experiences in front of you. Now let's uh, have a look uh, how the situation stands in terms of career. So first one is going to be Justice followed by uh, the Ace of Cups. Moving next, we do have the Knights of Pentacles and the last one for you, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Another interesting one. Um, so that week is gonna be uh, rather quite, uh, how can I say, when you do feel that, you know, things are different than before. I don't know how to how to express it. Such kind of a week it is that you're gonna have. So here in term of career, uh, the week will be rather quite demanding and it will be demanding on the old stuff. Um, unfortunately, um, nothing, well, I don't know if it is unfortunate because for some is going to be, if they're expecting something out of the blue is gonna happen to them that will allow them to excel over their career. Well, unfortunately, that is not gonna be the case throughout the week, at least according to my cards, okay? But uh, that being said, uh, you can work over the current stuff you are developing and you are going to be very successful in them to a point where you are going to start deliberating on how to truly manifest them in the world. Uh, and uh, it's very important here throughout the week to, to, to keep up with the plan, okay? Don't try to be a smart A, if I may say it that way, and change direction or perspectives in the very last minute. Because according to those cards, your plan is in, in fact brilliant, okay? Very good. Or your anticipation and expectations are a very, or to-go list, It's uh, they're very accurate. And if you have made, if you have taken or took your, if you have took your time to um, align everything according to their, um, to their emergency or how important they are to their importancy if you will and you keep up with that instead of uh, mixing it around uh, then you are going to be very productive and very successful throughout the week but once again it doesn't look like that something new is going to pop up that it will be rather exciting so it will be a boring week but it's going to be a, a productive week for you for those who does have a job now those that doesn't have a job uh, should you uh, have a uh, an, an opportunity to start a job throughout the week because the cards are not as definitive as with the previous star signs okay here you may you may not but should you have uh, then 
uh, you are to be uh, under a, a microscope, okay? You are gonna be put under a microscope. Everything is going to be assessed to so make sure you do perform your CV, portfolio, whatever, to an excellence, because everything is gonna be taken under consideration. And at the end, you are to be judged based on your experience and as well based on your skills, rather than based on how funny you are or who do you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, important thing here, uh, it is also to um, keep up with, how can I say it? Uh, people that you knew, in the past because it's because it's there is a, a chance that from them some opportunity is going to come about for example um you have worked with somebody a few years ago and now you bump into them and they say you you know what my company is looking a man or a woman just like you okay so why don't you try applying for a job where i work something like this but nonetheless at the end of the day uh, at the end of this week you're gonna have much more uh war warranties or assurances uh, about the future of your career. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly uh, general tarot readings, guys, in terms of career and in terms of relationship. And um, hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them. And uh, we may see each other around. Mm, just let me, okay. So until then, bye.